Hello and welcome to Reading Psych. Thank you for tuning in to part two of my Hawaii travel series. Stay tuned and let's have some fun. We started our day at the KCC market and we just walked around, looked at the different things that they had there. We looked at the produce as well. We ended up getting some honey and we also got some sugar cane. They also had food and drinks there as well. I was so happy that we found sugar cane because of how long it had been since I had some. So I just chewed on my sugar cane on our way to the Lanakai pillbox hike. After struggling to find parking, we made our way to the trail and we headed up in y'all. I was scared because this hike, it doesn't have any rails or anything. You're just toughing it out. I was so scared. I thought I was going to fall. Fear of heights kicked in. But the view though, the view was to die for. And I, I'm not going to say I enjoyed the hike. However, the view was very beautiful. It was so relaxing once I got up there. But the journey up was not easy. After the hike, we headed to the beautiful Lanikai Beach where we just relaxed, took some pictures, and we also used our snorkeling gear that we bought off of Amazon to snorkel in the water. We could see some fish there, which was exciting. So we just snorkeled, had some fun, and relaxed on the beach until later. For lunch, we headed to Side Street Inn on the Strip, and this food did not disappoint. We got the fried rice and fried chicken. We also got the beef short ribs. They come in shareable sizes or shareable portions, and the food was so delicious. We enjoyed it so much. Even the drinks were good as well. After eating, we drove around the island, specifically to Koolina, and then we drove back and headed to Waikiki Beach for the sunset. So we walked all the way down Waikiki Beach to the Royal Hawaiian Hotel, also known as the Pink Hotel. And it's so beautiful out here. There's like live music playing and stuff. We're just gonna walk back because tomorrow morning we have a tour at 9.30 in the morning. So we wanna be energized for that. But that ends this day in Honolulu or Oahu. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. The next morning we got some breakfast from Konos which was really delicious and we headed on our dolphin watching tour. So we saw some dolphins and it was like in the deep ocean. Y'all I can't swim. However, I was still in there and I was scared. I panicked a little bit but at least I still saw dolphins. Nobody can say I didn't see dolphins. And then after seeing the dolphins we got back on the boat and drove to another location where people were like jumping off the boat swimming around, snorkeling, seeing like a lot of different kinds of fish. And it was just really relaxing, really chill, and just overall very beautiful. We had some fun. shout out to my man for the snorkeling clips because lord knows i was not getting back in that water after swimming with the dolphins we got back to our hotel and we got some shaved ice went up to our room ate our shaved ice and then we ate our leftovers from the side street inn 
and we freshened up and then headed to Waikiki Beach to spend our last evening in Oahu. We ended the night at Kono's with some Dole Whip, which was very refreshing. We spent our last morning in Oahu during the Coco Crater hike. This hike was very intense because it's a set of old train tracks that people just, that weren't being used anymore, that people just decided to turn into a hike. And the views from the top were very beautiful. However, the hike was very intense. This hike had me sweating. I was crawling up at some points. I was marching up at some points. This hike had me, okay? But, mm. After enjoying the beautiful views, it was time to head back down, y'all. I was struggling because I was so scared. I said, if I take one step and I miss my step, I'm going to fall. So I was like crawling down. I was stepping off to the side. It was just, it was a journey, okay? You would think somebody forced me on this hike. So this is where it got interesting. There's a bridge. And there's also bees on this bridge. And under this bridge, there's nothing there. It's just an open space that if you fall down, you fall down. So I crawled carefully down because I didn't come to Hawaii to die. Do you know there are two paths. There's like the path where you just take the stairs straight up and it has like a bypass. On the bypass, um, if you take the bypass, you don't have to take the bridge. And the bridge has bees on it. So you can take the bypass, which is just like rock, rocky road, rugged road. But yeah, that's it. After the hike, we headed back to our hotel, we freshened up, checked out, and headed to the airport for our flight. We had such a great time in Hawaii. We definitely want to go back again. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Check out part one if you haven't already. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Thank you.